Cancer, this is your forecast for the month of May 2018. This is a general reading for Cancer Sun, Cancer Rising, or Cancer Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. Now, the underlying energy is this Page of Swords. This is air energy. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female, or just the traits of this page. Some of you, you're dealing with young people, but in other cases, this is some kind of uh, intellectual matter, or you're, again, in some form of negotiation or arbitration. You want to resolve a situation, and you want to do it rationally. So again, we have a couple of cards where perhaps you're on the defensive or someone else is. Your communication is going to be very critical. Your skills of diplomacy, how you can work through something, how you use language. For some of you, this is about traveling. Uh, for others of you, this is about you know being in observance of what those around you are doing. It could be that somebody's not really concerned about your feelings. Could be that King of Wands who has his back turned. Uh, so this could be a period where you are determined to speak your truth. The Emperor gives you the courage and the wherewithal to put your cards on the table. For some of you, this may be a project of some sort. Perhaps you work in design, or you're getting some professional advice, or you're a student of some sort. This could also be a month where you know you get some troubling news. Maybe this has to do with a secret or uh, you know something unpleasant, something mental. There, you could be involved in situations where there's a tendency for confrontation, for for being involved in an argument, dealing with people who are gossips or liars or somebody who is very boastful. It could be that you are trying to protect yourself because somebody's trying to pry into your affairs. They're trying to get in your mix and you don't like it. It may involve some form of betrayal. So, you know, something is under investigation right now. Uh, you know, and maybe you're having to be protective of you and yours. Could be that you're dealing with a, a rivalry of some sort. Or again, somebody who has entered your world who is very irresponsible and they're affecting you in an unexpected way. So this is about, uh, again, resolving something, having some communication. And this there's a possibility that you're going to be meeting new people. Uh, you're going to, or you're going to get closer to somebody you already know, or you're going to move backwards from that relationship. It all depends on those exchanges, how forceful they are, how power is used, how secure do you feel in your connections, and how you speak to another person in the future is going to determine the course of that relationship. It's possible, again, that you're, you know, having uh, negotiations or you're an interview, uh, you're trying to solve a problem, and you're coming together and working on something to gain some understanding, some clarity, and it brings you closer in the process. So you're focused on a direction, moving ahead, uh, motivating you know, your motivation, your drive, your ambition is important. Maybe you're trying to create and follow through with some kind of plan. But in other cases, maybe there's some aimlessness. You don't know where you're headed. Again, you don't know what the future holds. You don't know what, what's going to happen to you presently. You don't know if the choices that you're making are right. And so you need to reorient yourself. And for some of you, there are some anger issues because you're looking at somebody who is maybe trying to control you and you don't like it. And you're noticing the less appealing side of another person's character, their personality traits, and you've decided you've had it. You're going to take that sword and swiftly perhaps cut them out of your life. For others of you, there's a decided focus 
on paperwork and maybe you're doing a lot of paperwork at your work and you're dissatisfied about that you're struggling to get through it all maybe there's some kind of important documents or you know something that has to do with uh, messages or paper that you're having to deal with now this is going to be an emotionally challenging month where you are focused on your sense of belonging, building a foundation for something, your security, that is strongly emphasized and it's going to require that you tie up some loose ends, perhaps deal with some things that you don't want to, and maybe some changes in your perspective, your beliefs, your values, some kind of shift in your thinking. Now, you only have one major card, the Emperor, so Control, Security, Authority. And this is centering around some kind of promise and whether that's kept, or it could also be some kind of invitation to something. So something to do with the past is now influencing your present situation and you're doing a review. There's some uh, opportunity that you're looking at. Again, it could be a job offer, it could be traveling, it could be joining forces with someone, it could be expanding yourself somehow. It could be proving a point and driving it home and clearing your name, clearing your rep reputation, being vindicated of something. So you have to decide whether you want what's on offer. And you have to make sure that you trust your instincts, you listen to your uh, intuition, your practical common sense, and you rely on facts rather than emotion. If you get too impulsive, you will find that you don't have the control. Your ego is going to end up being punctured because you're being unrealistic. In other cases, you have to be careful about letting people overpower you and put you in a position where you doubt yourself and you end up getting manipulated somehow. Now, there is a lack of stability to your circumstances. Uh, maybe, you know, the details haven't been worked out yet, or maybe somebody's being tremendously unrealistic about something. There's also connections to teaching or perhaps a parent-child interaction and or perhaps you're involved in a relationship with a great age or role difference. So it could be a, you know, a May-December romance or you're dealing with someone who's much older than you or somebody who has more authority or power or influence than you. Um, they may hold a higher position or vice versa. And this is also centering around issues connected to friendship, sharing, exchanges, competition, and possibly conflicting interests or focuses. Uh, there's a lot of fire in this reading, so there, there's a tendency for some rash or impetuous behavior. Now, this may be a good situation where you're very motivated. Perhaps your back is up against the wall and you need to draw on that reserve of strength. But this can also be something that's very destructive, very all-consuming. One thing is for sure, this is going to be a month where there's some powerful and swift change occurring in your life. And it may tie to your passion, your creativity, and something coming at you out of the blue welcome or not, and it largely depends on that King of Wands. Now, there is a real desire on your part to move things forward. There's the impetus to get things going, but there's some kind of tug of war, some emotional conflict, perhaps a conflict of interest, or there's guilt about placing work over love, or, but there's definitely action taking place over emotion. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I would love for you to join me on Instagram or head over to my blog for a daily post. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com.